we can call an external python library or code file when we are writing automation script as we know automation script is a powerful tool which we can use to change the behavior of out of the box maximo and there is no need for us to go for a deployment like we have when we write the java class file for any kind of customization so in this uh, demo use case what i have done that on the work order tracking application i have created a button test and when i'm going to call this particular button test you will see that i am getting this particular error this particular error is coming because i have done the type raise in the automation script this is basically an action launch point automation script that is being called when i hit on this test button and you will notice it is saying that calling hello from external py so i have an external python file where i am calling a method call external py and it just returns a plain text which says hello from external py so this is the action launch point script which is being called when we click on the test button in work order tracking application i will leave the path of the blog from where you can have the source code of this particular script but one thing to notice that in this particular script i am basically calling a property and this is a system property mxc.pyleaf.path so you might be wondering why we need to do that in maximo 7.6.1.2 onwards ipm has basically given this property and it says the path to pyleaf folder so in order to achieve this requirement whenever you have to call any external library or source file you need to basically create a folder and that particular folder has to be created into application server of maximo so in my case i have a folder which is e drive ibm python and i have kept my external py file in this particular folder now the advantage of using this property file is especially when you have multiple files where you are calling external libraries so today i have all my files into this particular folder and due to some requirement if i have to move this particular folder from one drive to another drive then the one way of doing it is that you need to go and manually change the path of the particular folder into each and every script of yours but if you are using this particular system property in that case you need to just come here and change the global value one thing to notice is that this is not a property which will go with the live refresh so once you are going to set up the value of this property you need to do a restart of maximo once the restart is done you can continue using this particular folder and you can keep adding all the external library or files which you want to use into automation script so that's it from this use case video i hope you have liked the content of the video if that is the case then you can like this particular video you can share it and you can subscribe to my youtube channel reliability odc so in future we'll meet again with other useful use cases so stay connected thank you